Thank you. We have an average score of 84, Silver Award. Thank you. And it will also go review at the end to see if it gets one more point or not. And a comment, please, from Nathan. I love that this is a strong silver. It's um, it's a very, very well-rendered version of a backlit wedding image. Uh, symmetry is good. Rings of Eternity is good. Um, we can't improve something like this. It's just a really strong um, above award image. It's great. Thank you. Well done. Next print, please. Thank you. We have an average score of 78. And can I have a comment from Kylie? I think it's a, a lovely black and white rendition. For me, it was the expression on the bride's face, especially in that uh, right-hand one. That sort of let me down. Thank you. Next print, please. Thank you. We have an average score of 76. Kylie would like to challenge. Yeah. She's an 84. You've got three 75s and a 73. Mm, okay. No, I, I enjoyed the textural quality. I enjoyed the, the blur that's that's in there. It's, it's giving me a sense of movement and a sense of, of hurriedness to get to that plane. And the pop of red with the suitcase of the bride just gave me that little bit of interest there. So I'm enjoying the, um, the the softness of the image, hence I was um, high silvers. Thank you, Alan, 73. I'm, I'm the opposite with the, the softness. I, I want them to be to be sharper. The, um, they don't, it doesn't seem to be like a movement blur. It's just a out of focus blur. So that for me really, I was excited when this came up and I was like, Argh. and then Part of me also thinks of the story of heading towards the plane. I don't think you approach a propeller airplane from the front. To me, that doesn't sound like a long-lasting marriage. Um, so for me, I love the idea, I love the concept, the palette, all that kind of stuff, but it's a little bit on the edge there for me. Thank you. Any other judge to add a comment? Otherwise, back to Kylie. No, I'm probably out of my own here. I think it is movement. I think it is a movement blur. I don't think it's a, a wobble because we've got the bright sunshine, so there's no reason to have any other kind of movement. Hear what you're saying, so it's not believable, but in terms of that, that palette that you commended and, and the colour there, that's what we're, we should be rewarding. Thank you. Kylie's score of 84 is locked in. The current average is 76. Judges, please rescore now. Thank you, and it does stay at 76. Good conversation, though. Thank you. Next print, please.
Thank you. We have an average score of 78. David would like to challenge on 83. You've got quite a range to work with. 82, 78, 75, 70. Yeah, it's, I'm sort of quite really enjoying this um, HDR effect on this image and th the reverse vignette with the high key um, works really well. Visual communication, composition, I think is, um, is working here. Uh, the color palette, the greens and the reds, and then the desaturated um, look on the lower level. So I'm, I'm thinking... Um, this would sit nicely in the silver silver area. So I'd like to hear some more from Thank other you. people. Thank you. We're going to hear from Kelly on 70. Um, for me, I just think the technique, yes, it's been um, overused, I, I, I think, in its, in its sharpness and its sort of high-key feel to it. And it's very gritty. It's just that the couple are amongst just so much... Um, background and water and lines going through back of heads and things like that like there is a really clean space off to the right where they could have been engaging or walking or doing something to sort of hold that interest I think they're just bec they're blending into the background for me thank you and we might hear from Nathan 82 yeah, I'll throw some support to this. Um, I put it in silver, awarding it mostly for that treatment. Um, I feel like this treatment honours the, the location that it's in. It feels like it sets a good setting of place. Um, struggling to really, really go anywhere. I, I just, I thought it rested in above professional practice. I think it, uh, it's authentic in that regard. Um, Thank you, Nathan. Uh, Back to you, David. Yeah, Kelly, they're on a tropical island. They don't need to be walking. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> they're relaxing. They're chilling. And um, but no, I I think just um, vi the visual, the communication there is um, it's quite strong. The color palette I've mentioned, so I can't bring any more to it. Thank you. Except for a couple of extra marks, maybe. <laughs> David's score of eighty three is locked in. The current average is eighty uh, seventy eight. And by majority, it goes to 80. <laughs> Thank you. Next print, please. Thank you. We have an average score of 79. And the scores are quite close together, so we'll go for review. Uh, could we have a comment, please, from Alan? Um, ag again, this has been well created, and Brian Groom, great separation from everyone else. I just don't think there's enough kind of things in the background to either, either be, you know, all paying attention or other stories happening and there's not enough really cohesive other stories happening to really lift this up. Thank you. Next print please. Thank you. We have an average score of 75. Thank you. And could we have a comment from Kylie? I just don't think there's enough detail in those girls' faces to see exactly what's going on. We're a bit, bit heavy on that um, darkness there. Thank you. 
Next print, please. Thank you. We have an average score of 75. Could we hear from Kelly? Yeah, there's a lot of um, really great colour tonality going through there. I'm just really confused at that centre point. I'm not sure actually what it is. So it's lost for me. Thank you. Next print, please. Thank you. We have an average score of 83. Alan would like to challenge. Alan's on 88. You've got an 84, 83, 82, and a 76. So in terms of print quality, all those kind of things, composition, this is beautiful. Um, that separation of the bride and the groom. Um, yeah, it is just a great moment. It's a great concept in terms of putting the image together. Um, these are moments that happen quite often at weddings. You know, the groom and the bride get their things, and a lot of the time uh, it's, you know, before they're together. So I'm also imagining this has been composited from two different scenes and put together, which I think is beautiful. I haven't seen it done before. The emotion that's coming through in both of them, um, you know, her hand to her mouth, it's just amazing. And well long after these cards have gone, this photo will still hold the emotion that they had in them. So I believe this is up in silver distinction. Thank you. Uh, David on 76. I couldn't work out the connection and the storyline here because it looks like the bride is crying. I, and, and, and okay, that's fair enough, she's crying, but the groom's expression doesn't match the emotion that's happening on the other side. And um, that's where I'm struggling. So I need help on this. Okie dokie. Uh, let's Someone talk else. with <laughs> Nathan on 84. Yeah, this is a fantastic image. I sat on 84 because it's solid, solid silver. Um, wasn't I, I'm, I'm willing to listen to push it into uh, exceptional or superior visual communication imagination. The story, of course, is that they're reading cards that they wrote to each other. Um, and he is pretty soft. He's on the verge of tears as well. But um, he's being very himself. He's settled and stoic and breathing it all in. And she's being beautiful. But what I loved about this is the tonality of the dress, of the background. We're putting white on white and every single detail is still there. It's beautifully treated. We've got a beautiful yin-yang. We've got solid emotion. Skin tones are great. Um, light reflects, feels. Um, not. It wouldn't take me much to push into distinction. Thank you. Anyone else anything to add or otherwise we'll go back to Alan? Uh, I've always found that girls tend to cry more at weddings than guys, but that's just something that happens. And this guy, you can see there is emotion in his face. It's not as if he's just like, oh, that's something nice. There is actually something deeper happening in his expression. Uh, and so I believe that through that, and also just the amazing use of light coming through, even if this was shot in different areas to match it all together, it's been beautifully done. Great emotion, great story. It deserves to be silver distinction, so please come up. Thank you. Alan's score of 88 is locked in. The current average score is 83. Judges, please rescore now. Uh, 
And by majority, it goes to 85, silver with distinction. <laughs> nice teamwork, judges. And can we have a blank screen, please? Thank you which means we have finished judging this category. We still have reviews to do, so don't leave yet. No, you have to stay here because they're still judging. You can go. Thank you. And who haven't we chatted to? Ooh, no, we've done David. So, so Robin, like I've been entering these awards for about fifteen years now. Yep. And I still remember you from my first awards. Really? Because you what were did I do? You were the stylish lady. Still is. She still is. So I would like to know where has your sense of style come from and how has it developed over the years? Oh, now that's an interesting question. Well, I love colour. So, predominantly in the mornings, um, I think what colour do I need to wear today? So that dictates. And then I generally go, after that, what shoes do I need to wear today? And once I've decided on what colour I need to wear and what shoes I need to wear, I build the outfit from there. So if I'm photographing kids, flat shoes, if I'm photographing a family, or if I'm coming to the awards, high heels. And, and in terms of, do you have an all-time favourite outfit that you've ever worn? Uh, I think the one that probably is the most memorable and that I put the absolutely most effort into was 20 years ago when I was coming to the awards, I decided to not wear a ball gown, that I was going to wear a red blazer with uh, striped above the knee high socks with my Christian Louboutin shoes and I made a vest out of paper clips. So I sat at night prior to the awards and actually linked paper clips together and made this vest. And as soon as I took it off the cardboard template, all the paper clips just slid together. So with a deep sigh, I went, okay. So now I actually had to buy silver thread and hence tie a knot on every intersection of every paper clip to hold it all together. And so I wore it over the top of the red jacket. And, and so back in that day, it's going to be a fairly male-dominated industry. What was the reaction? Uh, pretty provocative. <laughs> and it was also the year that I won Australian Professional Photographer of the Year. So I got to get up on the podium twice in this outfit. And there was a little bit of outrage and stuff going on. And I think I might have also been the first female to win the award. So it was quite controversial. So I guess, you know, I'm a bit of a boundary pusher. Um, I don't like breaking rules, but my PA says to me, you're such a boundary pusher. So I'll work out what the rules are and I'll nudge up against them. And uh, last year when I entered the awards, I actually decided that the photo really just needed two words just to just give that little bit of extra information to the judges. So I wrote on the mount because no one said that you couldn't do that. But this year in the awards, they told me they created a new rule to stop me yeah. from doing that. <laughs> so I sighed and I went, okay, well, I pushed the boundaries. They decided I couldn't do that. So they've made a new rule for me, which is kind of fun. Keep them on their toes, those rule makers. About Christian Louboutin. Yes. I was in New York about four <laughs> years ago and... Um, I got a phone call from my daughter. It was August, stinking hot, 35 degrees. <laughs> and I got, I'm walking through Central Park, had a T-shirt on, shorts, pair of running shoes. And she said, Dad, I've ordered a pair of Christian Louboutin shoes. And I know where you are. You're in Central Park, and it's just across from where you are. Can you go and pick them up for me? And I've gone, Christian. I've never heard of Christian Louboutin. Sorry. <laughs> but so I've gone over there, and there's security on the door and I'm sort of in my t-shirts sweating like crazy <laughs> and I'm thinking there's no way I'm going to be led into this shop <laughs> you know it was just that, that and they only accepted one or two clients at a time and you had just had to wait outside amazing place you, you've probably been there 
Anyway, so when I finally go in, you can uh, just imagine the looks I got, you know, picking up a pen. And I'm walking through New York, back to where I was staying, <laughs> with a carry bag with Christian lips on. T-shirt, shorts, and a daggy pair of running shoes. So, so you were legendary. No, no, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my introduction to Christian Louboutin. She wore them on her wedding day. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Well done. So there we are. Um, now, what else will we chat about? Let's see. David, have you got a favourite colour? <laughs> Photographer Black, by the look of it. You got to do in the microphone. We've still got people we're entertaining oh, sorry, as well. Yeah. Um, possibly blue. Yeah. And Why? What What does blue mean to you? Does it give you energy, or what's it? What does blue mean to you? I, I think you summed it up. Yeah, it does give you energy. I mean, if you walk out on a blue sky day, you've got a lot more energy than when I walked out this morning and it was freezing cold and it was cloudy and raining. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you've summed it up in one. That's possibly why. I like blue, but I like all the colours you're wearing. And I, I do like mauve as well. Is it mauve? Purple. Purple. Yeah. A bit colour blind. No. <laughs> Don't tell them that at the end of the judging <laughs> space. <laughs> That's why all my pictures <laughs> are black and white. <laughs> <laughs> right, Kylie, I don't think we've chatted to you, have we? No. Well, it's your turn. Interview with Kylie. No, mm. it's no. No, Kylie. Mm. Mm. Kylie likes doing a few different voices, I've noticed. Sometimes. Impressions. I'm not good at impressions. I'm, I'm, a, a, I'm a one trick pony. Coily. Yes. Coily, look, look at me. Look, look at me. Look at me. The snores. Uh, you're based in Camden, I which am. is in New South Wales. I am. Yes, it's a 60 kilometres southwest of the centre of the city. So I am officially a Westie or a Bogan. Okay. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's true. Okay, and so you have your own business? I do. Uh, I run Handprint Photography, which has been in operation since 1993, and I have been located in my current studio since the year 2000, and it's an old church built in 1839. Oh, wow. And are you the only business in the church? Yeah. Yeah. I own two churches, actually. Oh. Yeah. Okay, because one so wasn't go enough. So go to theoldstchapel.com.au and you'll see pictures of the two buildings. So you run the business out of both buildings or you so run weddings well out of one? and Yeah, <laughs> so I own a wedding chapel. Okay. It's the only heritage non-denominational wedding chapel in Sydney. Wonderful. Mm. Clever yeah. move. Yeah, yeah. You're a real estate mogul, you? Well, I have a husband who's an accountant and he can, f he can do numbers. And he doesn't fix books, but he does numbers and crunches things. So, yeah, so the oldest building built in 1839 is the studio. And then the younger building, which is 1884, is the wedding chapel. Wow, that sounds like fun. It is. Nice. Because I meet lots of happy people. Yeah. On their happy wedding day. And are you a celebrant as well? No, I can't be. It's a um, conflict of interest in New South Wales to own a wedding chapel and be a celebrant. Really? Yes, it is. Huh. How about that? Because I've looked into it. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking you might have had a plan going there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But no, I can't. All right. And if you could pick one photo in your career that would sum up you as a photographer. Of my own? Yes. Mm. What Gosh. would it be? What would represent you and your career? I have an image on my wall in my studio and it's a couple of years old now but it is timeless and it's just a picture of a bridal party and they're all having fun and they're all looking at each other and they're just enjoying themselves and I think that's what people get out of having me as their photographer. They enjoy their day, they enjoy the experience and they have a lot of fun. Ah. I think I'm fun. Am I fun? Kylie's known for I'm fun. fun. Whenever there's a party, there's a Kylie going on. <laughs> or wherever there's Kylie. <laughs> or wherever there's... There's a Kylie going on. I should use that. <laughs> <laughs> or wherever there's a Kylie, there's a party going on. Whichever like one suits, I guess. Nice. So Thank I'm sure you. you'll be there tonight at the wrap party. Apparently it's sold out. So wow. if you don't have tickets, you're going to miss out go. on the fun. You can stand out on the footpath. Yeah, exactly. And apparently the dress code tonight is dress to impress. Oh. 
No, uh, David, don't go. So, um, David, you might have to go home and change black shirts. So, um, so we're going to start our reviews of this section. So, judges, thank you. Alan, Kylie, Alan, Kylie. Thank you. Reviews. So uh, the print will come around. I'll announce what score it is on. If you need to go up and have a look at it, please do so. Please come back to your seat and then show me your decision. So red is it stays at its current score. Green is yes, it goes up to the next score. Thank you. First print, please. This print is at 79. Does it stay at 79 or upgrade to 80? It stays at 79. Thank you. Next print, please. This print is at 84. Does it stay at 84 or upgrade to 85? Yes, it goes to 85. Silver with distinction, congratulations. <laughs> Next print, please. This print is at 84. Does it stay at 84 or upgrade to 85? It stays at 84. Next print, please. This print is at 79. Does it stay at 79 or upgrade to 80? And it stays at 79. Next print, please. This print is at 79. Does it stay at 79 or grade to 80? No, it stays at 79. Next print, please. This print is at 84. Does it stay at 84 or upgrade to 85? Thank you, unanimous, 85, silver with distinction. <coughs> Next print, please. This print is at 79. Does it stay at 79 or upgrade to 80? Yes, it goes to 80, silver award. Congratulations. <laughs> and can we have a blank screen, please? Thank you, everyone. Now, please, can I have Kenny, Kelly, and Dave come out the front? I know you've got a little bit of work to finish, but please come out. There are real faces. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> So these have been our helpers working tirelessly out the front. Thank you so much. Thank you to Sarah, who's been ably assisting me and keeping me on track today. Thank you very much.